Harlan Krumholtz. I'm editor of the new editorial board of Lifelong Learning at the American College of Cardiology. We're seeking to reimagine education at the American College of Cardiology. We're thinking about the new approaches and techniques that can be applied to education and how we can better align it to the products that are being produced here, the new guidelines, the performance measures, the appropriate use criteria documents, and others. Physicians today are inundated with information not just from articles, but from the media, from various sources, from patients asking questions, from abstracts that are being presented at meetings. And one of our principal challenges is to navigate through that information overload, to distill down, to figure out what's important for us to know, and how should our practice be changed? How can we better help our patients? In the past, the educational enterprise at the college, which has been quite robust and very successful, has been a bit fragmented. It has been sequestered into different silos within the college. And now we're attempting to bring together those very different sources and to identify the key competencies that we believe cardiologists ought to hold to take advantage of the various products that we have and understand them in their educational context. What we want to do in the future is when, for example, a guideline gets published, that very soon after there will be an educational product that will be available to you so that it's not just a matter of reading a guideline, which for many of us can be a daunting task in a busy day to try to get through the guideline and to figure out exactly what's important for us to pay attention to. An educational product that comes to you, that tees up the most important points, that walks you through some of these issues, that takes a case-based approach that's practical and even fun to take, that can in ensure that you've acquired the key skills and knowledge that these products have might be a better, a better day, a better educational approach than one in which we've used before. One that's more integrated within the college, one that builds on the expertise across the college, and one that delivers to you the very best products that you can use that can help you feel confident about the care that you're delivering. In the course of making these changes, we are very eager to engage you. We have a talented editorial board but we recognize that we're only going to be as good as our ability to truly connect with our members and their needs, to be able to produce products that they will use and benefit from. So in this spirit, we want all of the members to know, and anyone who's interested in using these educational products, that we're going to be reaching out, and we're going to be listening, and our success is going to be predicated on the degree to which these are popular among our members, that they enjoy and find useful these products and that we learn from the experience. Another facet of this is to be able to learn from the practice of our members and to be sure that we're integrating into the educational products information about how those practices are occurring. So for example, using the registries that we have and bringing together information from the responses that we get in our educational products will enable us to make stronger, more relevant information available to you. So with this, we're making a commitment. We will, in this re-engineering of the educational enterprise, work with you to make sure that what we're doing is in the best interest of patients and is best serving the needs of our members. Thank you.